Welcome to the Rooted in Health and Wellness YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us for our third exercise video in this series of exercise videos that we're doing to hopefully inspire you to get started exercising or add these into your current routine that you already have. So we have been really working on some basic core foundational exercises that I really think are important for people to start off with. Too many times I see people going into the gym and they're getting right into like doing squats or lunges, and then they find out that their back hurts or that their hips hurt. And a lot of times that's because they haven't actually worked at strengthening those glutes and the core. So we're trying to start off these exercise videos with these, again, foundational exercises to get you stronger in your core, which is your abdominal area and your back area and your glutes. Um, and making sure those glutes are strong and firing before you go into those big compound exercises. So we hope that you follow along with these. And again, they all kind of build upon each other. Each video builds upon each other. And you can add these in to, like I said, your current routine or get up in the morning before you go to work, take five, 10 minutes and do these exercises um, or do them in the evening, maybe when you're watching TV. They're very easy to do while you're watching TV yeah. as well. And I forgot to mention Stacy's back. I'm so <laughs> glad that she's back with me. So today, the exercise we're going to do is the bird dog. So we're going to do that as a strength exercise. And then we're going to do what's called threading the needle to as your mobility exercise for your thoracic spine. We tend to, again, I've said it before, but we tend to walk around a lot with a rounded back. We're on our phones or on our computers all the time. And so we have this, what's called upper cross syndrome, where the shoulders are rolled forward, the head is coming forward. And so one of the exercises, you know, again, we're working on is working the back through the bed bird dog and keeping the core tight, but then also doing this thread, the needle that will go through. And that helps with really getting some movement in the thoracic spine, that, that area of, that, of the spine that we tend to round a lot of. So we're going to start off with, I'm going to have Stacy get on our hands and knees for the bird dog exercise. Again, you can do this just at home on the floor. Join us now if you would like, um, or you can um, do this again while you're watching TV or any time of the day that works best for you. So with the bird dog exercise, you're going to have your hands right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips, about hip distance apart. The key to this exercise is really like a modified plank is just making sure that you're keeping that core, that belly button pulled in and upward and keeping that core nice and tight. The other thing is making sure that the hips are always staying stable. A lot of times, and you'll see in this exercise, when you lift your leg out, the, the hip wants to turn out. So it's important and you'll see me probably cue Stacy to make sure that her hips are facing the floor. So again, all a more reason to have someone watch you for your form, you know, again, hiring a trainer maybe, or having someone that can look at your form and make sure that you're doing these things correctly. But it's again, simple exercise. You're gonna start off with lifting your right arm and your left leg. So alternating, it's opposite arm and opposite leg. And so here on this left side, Stacy does wanna turn out just a little bit. So I'm just trying to cue her to, to, to turn that hip a little bit more towards the floor, but also keeping that core nice and tight. She's just lengthening through the leg and through the arm out in front and then lifting. Go ahead and relax and then switching sides, the left arm, right leg. Again, turning that hip a little bit towards the floor and making sure that she keeps her abs nice and tight and keeps this back almost kind of in a neutral, um, a neutral position. Go ahead and relax and then right arm, left leg. You want to be like a table so I should be able to like put something here and it wouldn't fall off. This hip again wants to turn out. So turning that hip towards the floor, keeping that core nice and tight, relax and switch sides. Left arm, right leg. Good, that side looks really nice. Keep that core tight, lengthen, really lengthen. Good, and then relax down. Do four more, Stacy. So she's just gonna alternate here, going nice and slow and controlled. Go ahead and relax and switch sides again. You could do up to 20 of these, really. Again, they're a simple exercise that you don't need equipment. But work your way up, do you know however many you can, maybe start off with eight, and then you work up to 10, 12, and so on. But keep that core nice and tight, and then go ahead and relax. And you can just sit back in the child's pose for a second. So again, a great exercise, great exercise to strengthen the back, but also the core. Like I said, like a modified plank, keeping that core, the belly button, and right below the belly button pulled in and upward. 
So then the mobility exercise, Stacy's going to be on her hands and knees again, just like before. So you can go right into this exercise. And she's going to start with taking her right arm and threading it through underneath her. Yep, she turns her right ear to the floor as she does that. And then she comes up and twists and reaches up towards the ceiling, looking again, her eyes up to her fingertips. And go ahead and do five on that side. So four more of these and just keep flowing through it. And she's really twisting here through the thoracic spine, inhaling as she comes down and then exhaling as she twists and reaches up to the ceiling. Good. A couple more on this side. This again is really working rotation, getting rotation in that thoracic spine or the middle of the back between the shoulder blades. One more. Breathing. Good. And then come up and then go ahead and switch sides, Stace. So now the left arm she's reaching through and then coming up. And again, she looks up to her hands and twists through her cervical spine, her neck to, to stretch all the way through. Excellent, good. Nice, three more. Reaching through. So again, I'm having Stacy do five on each side. You can do five, you can go, go to 10, especially you know if this feels really good for you, if you're really tight in through that thoracic spine or you're rounded forward a lot, this would be a great one for you to add in. One more, Stace. Good, and then exhale and twist and look up. Beautiful, go ahead and relax, you can sit back, yes. So again, we did the bird dog, or Stacy, I should say, did the <laughs> bird dog, and then the thread the needle there for the core, for that back and the, um, the abdominal area to strengthen it. So we hope that you will add these again into your routine or start off you know, your exercise with these, start off your morning with them, or watch, like I said, while you're watching TV or doing while you're watching mm -hmm. TV. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We, we really hope that you subscribe or hit that subscribe button. There's a little notifications bell up there that if you hit that, you'll be notified of all of our videos so that you don't miss any of them. And again, you can keep building up your exercise routine with the videos. And we do hope that you would give us a thumbs up. If you like the video, that really helps us out a lot. <laughs> and also share with anybody that you feel like it could benefit. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.